Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader, with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, we saw some more up uh, uh, upward follow-through on Friday from the bulls. Um, but as I suspected and discussed on the Friday webcast, Friday was very slow and it got very thin in the afternoon. Um, so it was not an easy trade uh, to maintain through the afternoon because basically once we got to noon, we really just chopped it up uh, for, for a few hours and that will just bore you to tears. Um, in the overnight session, uh, we gapped up last night, made a high up at up above 1270, I want to say 1270 quarter. Um, at that point though, you know, you look at the pivot points today and you can get those on the Top Step website. Uh, click on the link on the home page or go into the contributor link and click on my name and it'll bring up the pivots for you. The 45 day pivot is sitting at 1206. We got up last night to the highs around 1270. I sent an email out to my subscribers saying, you know, things are getting a little stretched up here. You know, we're up at 65 handles above, above the pivot. You know, we may, this may call for a pullback, you know, in, into tomorrow. Um, we pulled back as far as the daily pivot. Daily pivot is sitting today at 1253.42, and the three-day pivot is underneath at 1251.33. So that's kind of that's a pivot support zone for today. And we pulled back uh, right into that zone at about 7:30 this morning. We've come up off of that, and we're currently trading 1258 half. But you know, if you're a bull, you want this pullback. You don't want straight up to to 1290 because when you get to 1290, there's not gonna be any fuel for that move. You're not gonna be able to hold it. Um, the, the, the basic concept that we talked about last week still holds true. The bulls need to get back up to 1290 and break through and maintain that. If they can't do that, then they're gonna create a lower high on the daily chart and that is gonna to begin to turn into a wedge. We made a low at 1208, our most recent low was down around the 50-day exponential moving average at 1218.25. So on this pullback, the, the, the bulls need to maintain a low above 1218.25 and try to get back up and make that high. But you know, if, if they fail to do that, this wedge is being created. So they need to break out of this soon or we'll continue to wedge and our range will get tighter and tighter and they don't always spill lower, but more often than not, those patterns do spill to the downside. And if they do, I think we're looking at a very quick test of the 50-day moving average. And that, that move uh, will be high noon for bulls and bears, uh, dictating how things are going to play out uh, for the remainder of this quarter and, and into the new year. Um, let's look at support and resistance. Current trade, 1258.25. Let's do the upside first. 1264, 1268, 1272, 1277, 1283, and 1290. On the downside, uh, the, the zone I discussed, uh, essentially 53 half to 1251 quarter, that's daily and three day pivots, and the zone of the overnight bounce. Below that, you've got your nine day pivot, 1248 half, uh, your 20 day pivot, 1245 half, and then uh, support zones below 1238, 1234, 1226, and 1220. Everybody have a great day. Use stops. Be hedged. A lot of volatility out there still. Uh, I know Berlusconi's out, but I mean, honestly, folks, what's really been solved? So just be careful out there. It only takes one headline to get things really moving in one direction or the other. So use those stops. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader for Mr. Top Step. Everybody have a great day. See you tomorrow.